Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Irina from Knits and Pearls. Today I want to show you how to do jasmine stitch using t-shirt yarn. I use jasmine stitch in this purse. You can find free and PDF patterns by clicking the links in the description. I'm using t-shirt yarn from my shop, Knits and Pearls. You can also find the link in the description to the shop. I'm using also 9mm hook for this stitch. I already prepared the base in the purse that I used. And we're going to start with an active loop on the hook. We're going to yarn over, insert the hook in the same stitch and drop a loop. Yarn over again, skip one stitch and go to the following one and drop a loop. Yarn over, go to the same stitch and draw up a loop. We have seven loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over again, skip one stitch and go to the following one and draw up a loop and repeat the same. Right now we have 11 loops on the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to yarn over, insert our thumb between the hook and the, and the yarn and draw up yarn through all the hooks on loops on the hook. This step needs some practice. Now we're going to insert the hook in that loop where our thumb was and slip stitch we made the first flower with three petals we're going to draw up a loop again yarn over go to the same loop and draw up a stitch yarn over and now we're going to the stitch where the last petal is coming from and drop a loop. Yarn over to the same stitch and draw up a loop. Now we're going to yarn over, skip one and go to the following one and repeat that. Now we have 11 loops on the hook again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yarn over. I'm going to insert the thumb and draw yarn through all the hook, through all the loops. Now we're going to insert the hook where our thumb was and slip stitch. This is our second petal. I'm sorry, second flower with three petals. We're going to repeat the same throughout all the base. And I'm going to show you again one more time. We're going to pull up a yarn a little, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, Go into the stitch where this, the last petal coming from and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, skip one and go to the following one. Repeat that until you have 11 loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over, insert the thumb and draw up yarn through all the hook loops. Insert the hook where the thumb was and slip stitch. I'm gonna go around and I meet you at the end. We have completed the first row of the jasmine stitch. This is my last flower and this is my first flower. I'm gonna show you how to join the row. We're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, go to the center of the flower and draw up a stitch. We're going to yarn over again, go to the where the last petal coming from, draw up a loop, yarn over, 
to the same stitch and draw up another loop. Now we're going to yarn over and go to the center of the first flower and draw up a loop. Yarn over to the same stitch and draw up a loop. We have 11 stitches on the hook again. We're going to yarn over, insert the thumb and draw up yarn through all the 11 stitches and slip stitch at the end. We joined the first row and started the second row. In the second row we're going to the center of the flowers. Going to pull up a loop, yarn over and go to the same stitch at the center of the flower. Then we're going to yarn over again and go into the center of the flower two times. Going to yarn over, now we're going to the next flower two times. We have 11 stitches on the hook again. Yarn over, insert the thumb and pull yarn through all the stitches and slip stitch. This is the second row of the jasmine stitch. We're going to repeat this, this row until the desired length of your purse. 